Hey guys, Eric JPC. Today we're talking dump valves. We're going to address a couple things, uh, what they are, how they work, when we use them, and why you need it. So what a dump valve is, is it's basically a way to control your cooler line pressure within your Turbo 400 or Power Glide. We use it to basically bleed off extra pressure, all the pressure, some of it, you know, it depends on what kind of valve you have, but we're basically using it to control your cooler line pressure. The main two reasons why you need it is a lot of guys get them to help spool up in a turbo car. So if you're motor doesn't make a lot of power down low or you got a really big turbo type converter whatever the situation is maybe in the hotter months of the year you just need help getting the car to come up on the chip dump valve is one way to help control that because it lets you dump uh, excess amount of fluid to loosen the converter up another reason we use them is for power ma management we can control fluid pressures on the two-step starting line, um, as the converter's coupling, where it couples, how much pressure we have. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can use it really, but th those are really your main two, power management and spool up on the turbo car. We're gonna give you a quick run through on how these uh, two different kind of units work here. Um, the main difference between the, the two you see here is, is this is a single solenoid, uh, single in, single out, whereas this is a dual solenoid so we have one in and two out. Uh, we'll start with the, the simpler one, which which basically is works exactly how you see it. You tee into your outline on your cooler, into this, out of here, to the transpan. So when this is armed, it's basically dumping the fluid from your cooler line directly into the transpan, bypassing the lube circuit, all that kind of stuff, which will basically let more fluid out of the converter. If we go into to this one, which is a little bit more complex, this is a dual solenoid external dump. So same premise, we have uh, one line in here, and then we're gonna have two outs. So as each solenoid is armed, you're gonna have these open and they dump fluid out of these threaded holes here. Normally there'd be plugs in here as well, so that when it's closed, it's not dumping, but it, I pulled all the plugs out just to kind of show you guys how it works. So basically, if you weren't to have any plug in here, um, it's just gonna dump as much fluid that can come out of one of these holes right here. The beauty of a setup like this, which is made from Performance Racing Transmission up in Chicago, is we can put a 16th pipe plug in here and drill it uh, to different sizes. So if you don't wanna dump everything, you wanna just dump you know, a, a little bit of pressure off or just manipulate it a small amount, it's real simple. You, you thread in a 16th pipe plug and you drill it. The, the way we drill it is with a, a set of machinist bits like you have here. This is a, you know something we got off of Amazon, it's probably 40 bucks, and they're all numbered, uh, <clears throat> numbered drill bits come in thousands. So you can take a number 33 drill bit, which is 113 thousandths, and, and drill out the plug, and now you're creating 113 thousandths basically leak in your cooler line when when the dump is armed. So I wanted to show share this data log with you guys. Um, it's just a quick demonstration on two passes overlaid on how we were manipulating the cooler line to make the car kind of do what we needed it to do. Uh, we had made a mechanical change in the converter. Uh, we changed the stator to tighten it up. By doing that, the car actually slowed down we kind of went the wrong way by making it tighter. So what we had to do was find a, a zone in between the, the, tight, the tight stator and the loose stator because when we put more power to the loose stator, it really wasn't going any faster down low. So we knew it was too loose. So here, these two lines here, which are your kind of reddish brown lines, are your cooler line. So right here you can see we had the cooler line pressure was considerably about higher than, than it was here. Um, the blue line represents when we shut the dump valve. So with the loose stator, we had more pressure shutting the dump valve earlier. 
With the tight stator, what we did was we dropped the pressure and we held it open for longer. And by doing that, we were able to kind of meet that happy zone in between the tight stator. And if I could have three data logs, you would see there'd be another line, you know, somewhere right down here where my, my mouse is showing as to where it was with, with the tight stator. Because we got about a 400 RPM uh, drop with the stator change. And then once we were manipulating the uh, the cooler line pressure, we got about a, a 150 RPM drop. So we were able to loosen it up, you know, that amount to kind of get the car to, to do what we needed to do. And you can see all through here, the cooler line pressure is dramatically different, um, you know, and how big it's swinging from, from way up here to, to down here. So these are some of the things you can do with the dump valve especially a dump valve that is adjustable but you know you could put the jets in it and and set how much you actually want to dump if we were to have this thing running full bore wide open just dumping everything it, it would have no pressure it, it it would have it would be down another 30 40 50 pounds from from what i'm showing you on the screen here so the ability to to manage the amount of fluid you're dumping is is crucial and to really dial in these things in as to where they need to be. So hopefully this video helps you guys. I know it's a ton of information to take in. Um, just remember, it takes a little time and effort to, to figure this stuff out. So pick one up and give it a try. Would you look at it?